Greetings, Spooky fans! Michael here, and welcome to the 10th episode of my possible new Alola form series for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, where I talk about my ideas for possible Alola forms, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We're getting pretty close to Ultra Sun and Moon. It's like two months away now, and we still don't have confirmation of any new ones. So honestly, uh, despair is starting to set in. But hey, it's still possible. So, the series is going to continue. If you missed any of the last episodes, including the last episode on Alolan Arcanine, you can click or tap in the upper right hand corner. There's a cards link to a playlist that has all of the past episodes, this episode, and will have all of the future episodes. Also, like all of the other videos, while the ideas for these Alola forms are mine, the art was made by Really Dark and Windy. And you can find the link to his Fake Mon Wiki, Deviant Art, and YouTube channel all down in the description below. So without further ado, here are my ideas for an Alolan Drapion. I would like to see Drapion change from a Poison Dark type to a Poison Electric type. But before I get into why, actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to do a poll card this time. The silhouette for this Pokemon was like the easiest one yet because it's obviously a Drapion. You can see the lightning bolts between the claws, so it's just... We're, we're just gonna skip it for this one. Scorpi and Drapion are known to live in very arid climates, which, side note, considering that, I always thought it was weird that Scorpi could be found in the Pastoria Great Marsh, this super wet swamp area, but moving on from that, if Scorpi and Drapion found their way to Alola, they would likely start living in the Haina Desert, by far the most arid part of the entire region. The Haina Desert is very close to Blush Mountain, another arid climate that also contains the geothermal power plant, and since they're so geographically close, I don't think it'd be far-fetched that they would find their way over there. Now one important detail is that Blush Mountain and the geothermal power plant are crawling with electric types. So if Scorpi and Drapion started living there, I think it would be pretty reasonable that they would develop the electric type of their own. I think the electric type would replace the dark type aspect of Drapion simply because the poison type is still really useful for hunting. The combination of the electricity attacks that it can use to paralyze its opponents and then use its poison attacks to poison them would make it an extremely effective hunter. And while I realize a Pokemon in the games can't be paralyzed and poisoned at the same time, well, use your imagination. For stats, I'd like to see a nerf to its physical defense in exchange for a big buff to its speed, since electric types tend to be pretty fast Pokemon. Except for Vikavolt. And for its ability, I'd like to see it get either Motor Drive, a fitting ability for an electric type, or Poison Touch, a fitting ability for a physical attacking poison type. So there we have it. Those are my ideas for an Alolan Drapion. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on my ideas down in the comments below, and if you have any different ideas for an Alolan Drapion, be sure to let me know those as well. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, it helps me out a lot, and if you are not already subscribed to my channel, you definitely should. I make a bunch of fun Pokemon content that I am sure you will enjoy. And here's the silhouette for next week's episode. I actually remember to say it this time, so uh, good on me, and hopefully this silhouette is more challenging than the last couple ones have been. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all.